You are not Clarence Kennedy! What is up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den, located in Colmar, Pennsylvania. So if you're local to the area, stop on and check the gym out. But if you're not, hopefully you're watching this channel. Give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. We put out some pretty good content. Hopefully you are learning some things here or there. But today we're talking about something very, very important. An internet sensation. Okay, I've actually never met him, but I've seen his videos. I've heard of this guy, Clarence Kennedy. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. oh yeah! Good man. <laughs> and there's something I want to say about Clarence. Is first of all, apparently he's a vegan, which is mind blowing, because he snatches around 400 some pounds. I think he just did a video with uh, Juji and Tom where he missed this weight, I think nine or ten times, and then hit 400 pounds. That doesn't happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have a better chance of being an alien than being Clarence Kennedy. Let's put it that way. And I'm not sure of his body weight, but I'll tell you this. It's a lot, a hell of a lot lighter than me. Uh, so the whole point of this video is that you're not Clarence Kennedy, I'm not Clarence Kennedy, and obviously just from me trying some snatches, I've realized a very humble experience that there's no way in heck that I'm probably ever gonna be Clarence Kennedy. Uh, but I think that's just something very valuable, especially at lifters during our journey, we have to come to realize is that it's our journey, okay, it's about us. Uh, and I think sometimes we get stuck comparing ourselves to other people or we watch other lifters and we think, oh, if he's a vegan and he weighs this much, I should be able to snatch and clean and jerk that much if I put the hard work and effort in, okay? Probably not gonna happen. Same thing with me. If I go vegan and I do his program, I'm probably not gonna get the same results. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't keep trying to get to that level. It doesn't mean I shouldn't stop my journey because the reality is that I may not get there. Uh, but it's just kind of a constant reminder and that's something I was telling myself because I got caught in a rut or maybe I was thinking, oh, I need to hit these numbers because so-and-so hit these numbers or I need to get to this level because this is what the YouTube channel wants to see from me or my family or friends want to see from me. And all it does is kind of put us in a vicious cycle with our mind and our mentality towards training when really we have to get to the start or, or go back to the start of why we did this, okay? And, and I think a lot of it has to do with just having fun, enjoying the process. Maybe it's your outlet, okay? It's your meditation. It's how you're social with others and how we get out of our comfort zones a little bit. So uh, just something that I've been thinking about and reflecting on a lot lately. You know, I started doing a little bit of Olympic lifting again uh, for fun. I haven't snatched in about a year. So the snatches you're seeing now have literally been uh, not done in a year. And I think the highest I worked up to was 225 for a couple singles. And I definitely had missed some reps. So basically kind of putting this video together is because as I was in my training, I was comparing myself to other people and the numbers that I had to hit, especially when I started weightlifting, I remember what I used to be able to hit or what I hit a year ago, and there's no way in heck that I was gonna hit that today. And then I think of guys like Clarence Kennedy who are putting up astronomical numbers uh, and just coming to realize that, yes, they should inspire me and motivate me, um, but that shouldn't be my driving force to be them, okay? I wanna be me, I wanna focus on my progress and my journey and uh, just kind of as I reflect on it I figured it'd be some good uh, advice to you guys uh, because even myself I've been lifting for well over 10 years I've been competitive for over 10 years and I go through the same thoughts that you guys probably go through so don't ever think that you're alone uh, but yeah you're not Clarence Kennedy I'm not Clarence Kennedy only Clarence Kennedy is Clarence Kennedy and I hope one day to meet him because he is an absolute beast of an athlete um, and he is some of my inspiration, but I'm also trying to be the best that I could personally be, and that's what you guys need to focus on. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that 
you subscribe to the channel. Okay, hit the notification bell one more time so you stay up to date with all the content we have coming out. I'm gonna try to be blasting out videos uh, on just good content for you guys. So I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. We've exceeded over 40,000 subscribers. Very grateful for each and every one of you and everyone who participated in the Black Friday sale for programs, all that good stuff. Till then guys, stay on Lima Strike Machine and remember, do the best that you can do and just be you. Peace. Oh, yeah. That is what we call being a little bitch. Yeah.